Government shutdowns can lead to the closure of national parks. Visitors are typically impacted, resulting in fewer people visiting these parks. Government shutdowns can also lead to the closure of public services, like campgrounds, roads, and even trails in national parks. If these services are unavailable, visitors and staff may be unable to safely travel through national parks. Even if some services remain open, the lack of funding due to a government shutdown can lead to difficulties with maintenance and repair. A number of public services and attractions may also close as a result of government shutdowns. One example is visitor centers, where staff are no longer able to serve the public. Similarly, there could be interruptions in the delivery of educational programs and other services. There may also be fewer personnel on site in order to conserve expenses during a government shutdown. In extreme cases, parts of national parks can be closed off or even fully closed during a government shutdown. This could include closing roads, trails, areas, services, and attractions. This can have a substantial impact on the economy of the local communities, as local businesses will no longer receive as many visitors. For example, hotels, restaurants, and other businesses may be unable to remain open. Similarly, businesses that provide services to national parks, like mountain bike rentals, horseback rides, and camping supplies, may be negatively impacted as well. It is important to note that many parks are part of larger ecosystems, and the closure of a single national park can have a ripple effect. In most cases, the shutdown of a single park may be prolonged, leading to wider economic repercussions. The closure of national parks can also have an impact on wildlife habitats, as these areas are home to many different species. Some animals may have less access to food or water, making it difficult for them to survive. Additionally, some species may need to travel elsewhere in order to find suitable habitats, putting them at risk of being hunted or poached. This could result in significant losses for the disturbed species, leading to an unbalanced ecosystem. The lack of visitors can also lead to reduced environmental protections. For instance, when there are fewer visitors, staff may not be available to enforce regulations or monitor activities that can harm the environment. Also, if there is a lack of visitors, certain areas of the parks may become overgrown or littered. As a result, this can cause a decrease in the quality of the park as a whole. Unfortunately, not all the effects of a government shutdown on national parks can be reversed. Depending on the extent of the shutdown, some of the damage that is done may take years to repair.